Alrighty, so we got two shots here. Let's watch the first one first here. Shoot. Oh, poor guy. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Interesting. Uh, just quick, I mean, I think you probably add some other sets here. I don't know if you want to make it a bit more interesting, but maybe you don't have to. I'll probably just take out the words. It's just the sign, so you don't rely on on any type of language, it's all visual. And I personally, I would rotate the guy uh, towards us. So he's not really seeing him from his peripheral vision. And, you know, maybe put arms behind his back or like, it seems like he's just kind of waiting for it or kind of a weird pose. You know, even with that arch, I would just kind of make him, to me it's almost like the opposite, just kind of maybe arms behind his back or just kind of crossed arms or something kind of like, hmm, it just kind of stands there smoking. But again, not turn so much towards the guy, more towards him. And I know you have that because then you want to lean into this, but you even have like a one frame pop back into your previous animation. I think all I would do is, you know, whatever pose again, he's, you know, he might be that big burly guy standing like that looking at us with the hat and he just hits him from the side and you just have to kind of reanimate a little bit you know you can just have kind of like a pow, sideways tumble so i like what you have with the cigarette and then with the the hat flying off it just feels weirdly stilted here but at the same time the question is always do you want to put that on your reel is it just an exercise i think that would be uh something to think about you know if it's, if it's for your reel like how much what can we add here to make it a bit more, uh, just work it a bit more. And again, if it's for your reel as well, I would tilt down with the camera so that hat guy, you know, hat is around here. He's a bit higher, so we're not so close and cutting off right there. There's a couple of things I would do, but you let me know what your, or your plan is. Because I see here, you made a drop faster. I add a weight shift at the end. Yes. You made his left arm swing faster. Okay. I made his upper body drag. I did laugh that he lands. I made the second character smoke a cigarette. Thank you for the idea. You're very welcome. You can do obviously whatever you want. That was just a quick thing there. But animation wise, this still feels slow motion -y through here. I would still speed up that guy. I think the lead up is fine. For animation purposes, I would still offset things a bit. I like that you have offset pose. It just gets a bit too cleanly straight and twin there. But I do appreciate the change there. I guess it should be okay. Maybe I'm focusing too much on just that detail. But the main thing to me is that the slowness. This. Just through there, you still have slowness. But it's like the beginning is okay. It's, very, it's complicated. This is fine. Then it gets a bit slow. And then the drop, that seems fine. Right there, you have a... It's almost a f too fast by a frame, but I think that's just because of the transition. Because you can look, you can see this in the foot, right? If we do, where is it, the guy? That's the one. Okay, so let's look at, you know, this foot here is here, and then here, and then here, just looking at the ankle, somewhere here, watch your arcs, bam! And then suddenly here, and then here, and then stays puts. You know what I mean? So this is your moment where you're too slow and even. And then bam, you can see here the sudden pop and acceleration in that leg. Um, and I think smoothing that out will help. So speeding this section up a bit and smoothing out that transition, I think will help there. And the only thing about him is that he just kind of goes right into a very clean, it's almost supposed to pose thing of here's a key, right here's a key. Where I would just give this a couple more frames and, you know, where when this comes to a stop, I mean, the other thing is you come to a stop on this frame. And then we have one, two, three, four frames of nothing. You know what I mean? You have either you cut out sooner, but it, then we're still cutting on unresolved move. I will probably just continue, drag one arm a bit more and add a few more frames where the body comes down a bit. That arm catches up. This arm will go down. Just a few more offsets. Um, but again, he's just he's very uh, performing a tangent there. So I would tilt the whole camera down. And I know you have 
this here. So you might have to tilt up a bit, but also globally move away. So they're a bit smaller in space, uh, in visual space. Because I understand like this is this is good to have that much room. It just feels weirdly low here and at the beginning. And I think I think you'll be okay with. I would prefer a a nicer composition in terms of that's a, that's a hat by the way in the head <laughs> at the beginning. And if at this point you know we're cutting off feet there, I think that's okay. I don't mind that, and I think it'll be it's too short too short and too quick to add a tilt up in the camera. So I think I will personally just tilt down overall globally and also globally move away from them maybe a little bit to fit all that stuff in and then you can decide what you want to do with this guy so it doesn't feel so stilted but it's already better with what's going on here um yeah that's kind of that now there is the second shot oh weird whoa what's at the end here Okay, so you have this guy coming in, so you're still working on this. I made it similar to the reference and focus on exaggerating the line of action. Cool, I do like how you lean back more. It's cool. I like your that leg back right there. That move from here to here on this leg, right? Going from here to that. So that range. Feels too even. That is like in your graph header, it feels like, beep, like a very straight line. So I would just go here and then wait a bit and then really move it up higher to give him that swing up. And also don't forget, you got to watch out your spacing here. So if I go back into following his ankle, as everybody should, tracking frame by frame, you can see how much it flattens here. It's not hitting. A wall per se because you have a little bit of an arc and ease in but visually at this point right through there that leg basically just this in exaggerated form so I was just kind of work on that arc a bit more on that leg that's cool I like your timing of your arms there boom but I would offset them a bit more even though it's part of the reference I would just give this a bit more offset feels like you have a one frame it's not quite enough but I like your so you're swinging, drag on your arms, but I kind of like how far back this guy goes. And you can see the offset in this arm too. So potentially just kind of pushing that swing back a bit more, but definitely offset for my symmetry on your arms. They're a bit too similar and twins. And then I will wait to see the ending there. And that's kind of it. I mean, you have another shot here where it's your reference in bigger form. It's cool where you can see this and then he jumps backwards right as he sees the the boulder here so i would say keep going there's little things here and there on this one but I, I like this a lot more already and i like that feel of how we can feel that going back that's all cool timing definitely sticking to the reference i think that's totally fine why not and then we can see the whoa and then going back so i'll wait for that here now i added the intro for the next part of the shot when he first sees the falling rock right okay i just added one pose he gets shocked i've seen the rock i do not have reference for that part how can i make it believable well you would have to take the same approach as this and film yourself so maybe i would film yourself here starting here getting up and then whoa and then ending in a position that kind of will somewhat match into a crouching so you jump backwards so this is just something that you're gonna have to act out unless you find some footage online but um it's always easy to just act it out just because you know what you want to do uh and that's it all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you